Okay, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to change controller ports on a PS1 Classic for the Vita. Um, I know there's been some concerns and some questions um, that I've been reading about in forums and whatnot about people wanting to know how to do this. So, uh, I'm going to be testing this out or showing you guys an, ex an example on here with doing it with Metal Gear Solid. I know you ha uh, there's a certain point where you're playing against Psycho Mantis that you have to change the controller ports, so uh, that's why I'm using this as an example, so that way people would know how to do it on there. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, skip through all this and get to a save file, um, just so I can show you how it looks in-game. Uh, let's see. I don't have um, the Psycho Mantis game saved, uh, so I don't have a, point, a save for that point. Uh, let's go ahead and choose the Underground Passage, just to use it. And I can go ahead and show you how it looks on there. Okay, so this is, uh, I think, after Meryl, get, Meryl gets caught. So let's see, move around a little bit. Okay, so you just touch and hold the screen on the Vita, and you get a list of options. Uh, the option you want to go to for this particular scenario is controller settings. Uh, you see uh, you can assign buttons. Um, it's, it's the standard, and you can use the back touchpad to use L2 and, you know, everything that you see right here. If you go back, you can switch between digital and analog. I like using analog mode just because I'm used to the anal using the analog sticks. Um, for changing the controller ports uh, for the Psycho Mantis battle, uh, you choose the middle point right here, assign controllers, and you can just touch controller 2, um, press X, and then you go back to the game and it'll be set to controller port 2, and of course right now I can't use it in controller port 2 because I'm not at the Psycho Mantis fight. But once you're at the Psycho Mantis fight, you can switch it to port 2 from there, and you'll be able to beat Psycho Mantis without him reading your controller port. And that's how you do it.